Hey guys, generic username here. I'm here again with yet another booster pack opening, but this time I figured with uh, Kaldheim right around the corner and the fact that I haven't opened anything from the new Zendikar, I might as well go ahead and uh, open up at least one pack of Zendikar Rising. And well, I figured I'd mix it up even more and this time get a, some, what is it called, a set booster from that set. It has something about guaranteeing foils and being up to four rares like what it says right there. So that kind of piqued my interest. At, at any rate, let's uh, go ahead and start getting into this. Yep, hope all of y'all uh, out there are having a good day and that this video, it makes your day even better. Yeah. All right, so as is tradition with me, I gotta bless this pack. <laughs> Set boosters, new kind of booster, don't say. All right, let's get into this. All right, no money, no whammies. Let's go. Okay, that's an art card. That's cool. I have no idea what the order of this is, so bear with me. Okay, so we got a forest. Okay, so I guess the commons are in front. Cool. Into the royal, one in the blue, instant speed. It is a kicker for one in the blue. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. If the spell is kicked, draw a card. Yeah, this was printed from the uh, original Zendikar. Yeah, so I actually really like Royal uh, Into the Royal. And I actually play it in Commander quite a bit. If I'm in blue, I'm usually running this. It, this is good. It deals with so many uh, different permanent types. And on top of it, you get the card back. Yeah, that's good. All right. So our next common is Bubble Snare, single blue. Enchantment Aura has, also has Kicker for two and a blue. Enchant Creature, uh, when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Okay, so at worst, it's one mana that keeps a creature tapped down. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, we're a long way from uh, Narcolepsy and all those other blue enchantments yeah it's uh this is solid i like it and we're just gonna keep getting blue cards here with a uh, shell shield it's a single blue instant speed kicker for one target creature you control gets plus zero plus three until end of turn if this spell was kicked that creature gains hexproof until end of turn wow so for one and a blue you can give a creature plus zero plus three and hexproof until end of turn that's pretty good. That's uh, really good. Man, interaction, solid. Definitely good limited interaction in this set. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. We're finally not getting a blue card. All right, Dauntless, Unity. One and a white. Instant speed, kicker for one and a white. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. If the spell is kicked, those creatures get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Only plus two, plus one? That's garbage. The kicker should be like, it should be getting like plus three plus two or plus two plus two on lifelink or something. Like, come on, that's for four mana. You're effectively saying for four mana, your creatures get plus two plus one. That's awful. I don't know. I mean, the plus one plus one is for two is okay. Like I can deal with that, but you pay two more, it should do more. Yeah, that, that, that's not a good one. That's That's bad. I mean, it kind of fits along with whole Wizards thing of bad white cards lately. Okay. Alright, so it looks like this is where the uncommon start. So we got Blood Chief's Thirst for a single black. Kicker of two and a black. Destroy target creature or planeswalker or convert a mana cost two or less. If the spell is kicked, instead destroy target creature or planeswalker. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty solid. So just so for one man you can destroy a small creature, or for four you can destroy a planeswalker cre creature, and it's a, it is at sorcery speed. So so, I mean it's not going to be constructed playable, but that's pretty solid for limited. I mean, yeah, that's that's good. I like it. Again, for limited, not for constructed. Okay, so our next card is Skyclave Shadow Cat for three and a black. It's a cat whore, one in the black. Sacrifice another creature. Put a 1-1 counter on Skyclave Shadowcat. 
When, when a creature you control with a 1-1 counter dies, draw a card. And he's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so he's a 3-3 three, three to start with for 4. When a creature dies, you get a counter, and you sacrifice another creature. You put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, but since the creature dies, you're effectively putting 2. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. When a creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter dies, you draw a card. So you kill the creature, get a 1-1 one, one counter, and draw a card. That's okay, that's that's pretty solid. I like it. Really can't, I really can't complain about that. Alright, so then we have Jwari Disruption. One in the blue, instant speed, counter target spell, unless it's control pays one. You worry too much. Niz Dal Seagate Trap Finder. Oh, that's right. This whole this set has like the the, the flip card. So like this side's a spell and the other side's a land, right? Yeah. Nick. All right. So the other side is Drawry Ruins. Comes into play tapped and adds blue. That's cool. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of okay with the modal cards, but they're gonna have to be really careful about balancing them, in my opinion, because I feel it'd be way too easy to print one that's a land and then it it's a yeah, this is that could be a land and a spell that's that are both really overpowered together. I don't know. I just they have to be really careful with it. Yeah. All right. So the next card is Rabid Bite, one in a green, sorcery. Target creature you control deals deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Oh, now we're back to commons. So I went through the uncommons and I'm back to commons. What? Makes no sense to me. All right, at any rate, yeah. So rabbit bite. It's green removal. It's a fight mechanic. Actually, it doesn't even fight. What the heck? Why does the creature just do damage? It should be fight because that's what made it fair. I don't know. Oh, standard. What is happening? All right. Okay, so the next card is iridescent horn beetle for four and a green. It's an instant, or an insect. At the beginning of your end step, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token for each 1-1 one, one counter you've put on creatures under your control this turn. And he's a 3-4. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, so he creates insects at the end of your end step. Beginning of your end step. Yeah, no duh, because that's what the card says. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. So you spray counters all over the place, and then you go ahead and throw uh, counters on them. That's kind of cool. Okay, so maybe we're under a rare now? I have no idea. Is this a rare? <laughs> that is a rare. Alright, we did it. I learned kinda learned the order of the set, but not really. Okay, so mold the skyclaves. Two and a white. Equipment. When it enters battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. A creature creature goes plus two plus two, has flying and first strike, and it has quit for two and a double white. I kinda like that. I like the fact. I really like this with the attach it to target creature you control when it enters. Yeah, that makes equipment so much nicer to use. And the fact that three mana effectively to give a creature 2-2 two, two, flying for strike, that's really solid. It reminds me almost of a Angelic Destiny, except it's four mana, obviously. And it gives a creature plus four plus four and makes him an angel. But it this equipment almost feels like Angelic Destiny to me. It feels like the equipment version of it, I should say. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so... Now, there's supposedly a guaranteed foil, a minimum. So... Is this it? Yeah, that's a foil. I have no idea what this card is. Alright, so... Practice tactics. It's a single white. Instant, destroy, choose target attacking or blocking creature. It deals damage to that creature equals to twice the number of creatures in your party. What is... what? Oh, so bad removal. Cool. They print, they gave me this cool white card, but then they'd be like, hey, let's give white really bad removal. Yeah, so you're gonna, so, I remember people saying, party's kind of a pain to play, just in general. You can't really do it in constructed. You can't really do it in drafting, unless you're really dedicating to it. It just wasn't really well built. It wasn't, yeah, it just wasn't done well. I don't know. I, maybe I'm I'm probably just complaining, but yeah. Anyways, so let's see. What did we get as our special card? Uh, Wayfair Bottle. Neat. 
Okay, so Wayfarer's Bobble. It's a one mana artifact that has two tap, sack it, search library for a basic land card, and put that card into play tapped. Then shuffle your library. It is the forest beyond the horizon, the mountain waiting to be climbed, the new land across the endless sea. Yeah, it's the new land that I'm going to put into play after I crack this. <laughs> but yeah, it was originally printed at Fifth Dawn. So that's the symbol for Fifth Dawn. The whole Muradin cycle was a, so a sword, a shield, and a helm. So Muradin was a sword. Dark Steel was a shield symbol. And Fifth Dawn was the helmet. Yeah, I, I like Wafer Bobble. I know this thing has gotten really popular because it's just good. So, Alright, so yeah, that's the whole booster pack for today. We have Maul of Skyclaves, and we got a Wayfarer Bobble, and we got a Jank Foil that I don't care for. But, yeah, I really care for these. So, yeah, and that's everything I have. If you, uh, you guys like the video, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day, have a good night, and I will catch you next time.